Hey guys, it's King Battle Bones here, and we are back with another killer comps from Outer Space the game. So today I'm making my own tier list of the possible worst weapons to the best weapons in the game. All the way to F tier, all the way to S tier. So if you guys want to see more killer comps from Outer Space games like this, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bell, and without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so I moved my webcam all the way on the right so you guys can see better. So the first weapon we got here is the Con Candy Ray Gun. So it is a beginner's weapon. This gun shoots a steady ray of cotton candy towards an enemy victim or escape interactions. The good thing about it, right? The good thing that I used to use of it so far, it's a good beginner's weapon and is easy to use. But the downside is the cotton candy builds up slowly and it can overheat, you know, pretty easily. So I'll say I'll put it at, I'll put it at C tier. So the next weapon is the Penta Shot. Now this requires level 12 and what it does, it basically uh, releases five shots, like uh, five shots, a short burst of con candy projectile shots into like a pentagon type shape. And it takes up to three to five shots uh, to turn it into con candy cocoons, depending how close you are. So that's the pro about it, that it you have to, it's a short range weapon to use but it also doesn't easily overheat. But the downside is the survivors can escape easily if you're either the athletic or the heroic. So that's the only downside. And I don't really use this weapon as much. And just for it, because since the survivors can escape easily, just for that, I'll put it at D tier. So the next weapon is the Giga Ray. So it's in the name. It basically shoots a supercharged uh, cotton candy ray at the attended enemy target now this requires level 28 and the good thing i could say about it when i use it a couple of times it builds up faster so it actually charges up quite fast and it doesn't overheat as easily but the cost to it it does overheat easily if you're not careful with it because if, if you keep spamming it then it's gonna overheat and it has a delay on it so which it could do it could allow the target to escape so once it's fully charged it has a small delay but besides that it's pretty good so i would say since it's actually carefully well balanced on this i actually want to put it at c tier but i think it's higher than the cotton candy gun so the next weapon is the laser beam so i i'm putting this straight to f tier and if you want to know why it, it this is a level i believe it's a level 37 that you need to get this which is kind of insane so what it basically does it shoots uh a like big laser beam it's basically like the giga ray but once you shoot into a concentrated beam uh for the target it, it just it just turns them into like cocoons that's really it so the good thing i could say about it it constantized your target in seconds once charged up and it's great use for sneaking up humans, but I mean, if you sneak up on humans, um, they're just gonna know because, you know, once you're a clown, you have the squeaky shoes, right? So obviously the bad part of it is the charge up period is very, very long and the humans will be able to see you charge it up. So uh, it's po possibly the worst weapon in the game right now, one of the worst weapons in the game. So that's why I put it at F tier. So the next one is the bouncer caster so this is a level 50 and a lot of people are you know starting to use it a lot there's a meta for it right now but what it basically does is shoots a large con candy projectile which will be seen basically everywhere it bounces all over uh you know the walls and everything the good thing about it i was just i should say it takes three shots to turn them into a con candy cocoon which is kind of insane and you can trigger detonation right you so once the ball lands somewhere you can actually trigger the detonation light projectile to go off right when a human is near so i believe it's the uh if you're playing on mouse and keyboard i think it's uh the right mouse click i'm pretty sure for controllers i think it's rt or uh whatever for playstation is and it's you know it's a strong a strong continuizing effect so it's very very strong and the bad thing I could say about it is difficult to aim. So, you know, it'll take some practice to aim with it, but, and you won't really know where the projectiles are going. So what I recommend is you basically try to aim at the floor or aim a little bit down, at least up to their legs. 
and you hit the target like every time so uh, just for it being a very very good gun i'm putting it straight to s tier so now onto the melee weapon so the first weapon is the mallet so it is a beginner's weapon so it's basically a first secondary weapon uh you'll get in the game and it's good for knocking around humans up close so it's very good for using you know up close melee and uh, but the only bad thing i could say about it can feel a bit slow sometimes especially when the human is moving around left and right so honestly in my personal experience by not only using this right you got to know how to use it as well uh, especially for like jumbo and or any other killers but if a survivor has a weapon uh the survivor actually has, has a greater chance of using it against you who's gonna get down uh, you know first is the con gonna get knocked down first or you are so one of them is gonna get cooked so the best method right for a survivor to encounter this is basically keep moving around them so what i do is i don't just straight up attack the opponent straight on i actually move left to right and behind them because i actually caught them off guard so honestly it's not a bad weapon for a startup but it also isn't good as well because every time I see a killer con with this mallet, I'm like, okay, bring it on. So, uh, so for that purpose, uh, I know you guys might hate this on me, but honestly, I it's between D or C because that's just my personal experience. Because I can, you can easily counter this uh, if you go left to right or behind them. Uh, around the killer clown and try to stab him. It's just, you can get him every time. So just for that, just because it's actually kind of well balanced for a melee weapon, I'll put it as C tier. But behind the con candy ray gun. So the next one is one of my favorites as well. This is actually one of the meta, which is the popcorn gun. So this is a level 12 requirement, and what it basically does is shoots a powerful blast of popcorn that damage at the opponent, which also sticks to them. And it actually locates their location for a short period of time. So if you use this popcorn gun very, very up close onto a human, it does a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure it gets rid of uh, one meter bar, which is kind of insane. So it helps to track the humans uh, while they're being in chase. And not only that, they're also getting damage along the way. And it does a lot of damage up close, like a lot. So the downside, I'll say that... Uh, after each shot, you have to wind it back up. So it's a, it's like a three second reloading time. So it's a bit delayed on that. And once you pull out the con, uh, the popcorn gun, it actually has a delay of shooting. So that's the only thing bad about it. But what I would say, what's a good benefit about it, it gives you so much XP. So once you down the player with the popcorn gun, you can either kill them with the popcorn gun or do the contality. And regardless, it just, it, you get so much xp i get at least over 12k xp almost every round not every round of course but it's just it's a very good weapon and it's one of the best metal weapons currently right now so that's why i'm putting it at s tier so these two great a make a very very great combo so the next one is the jawbreaker maze so this is a level 28 requirement and the jawbreaker maze has a spike it has like spikes near the end which has a lot of damage so it's the strongest melee weapon so far uh it's basically an upgrade to the mallet if you like using close range weapon so the good thing about it is you wind you wind it up fully and it straps up close do a significant amount of damage like a lot to the human uh but the only thing i could say is humans will see your swings coming in so once they see you start swing there i mean what's your what's the first thing you're gonna do you're either gonna run or just shoot them right because i'm pretty sure it cancels it once you shoot them so they'll see it coming so this honestly works best if you catch them off guard but once again you have squeaky shoes and you're a killer clown so they're gonna know so just for that if it didn't have that wind up i would have put up straight to a tier but just because oof, because people would just know easily right unless you're doing melee to melee combat to combat then i think the killer cons will you know win of course but just for that i get i'm gonna put it 
I'm gonna put it at B tier, right? I'm gonna put it at B tier because it's basically an upgraded version of the mallet and, and it does way more. So honestly, if I had to fight a killer con that has the mace, I don't think I wanna try to fight it because I believe they have a more chance of knocking you down and either killing you or turning you into a con candy gun. So I'll put it at B tier. So the next one is the gobble stopper. Uh, try saying that five times. I, I tried. It's a level 37, which allows you to easily hit fleeing humans from a short distance. Uh, and if you aim it <laughs> very well and charge it up the attack, you can reach it further. So it's like a, a lasso, basically. But it's just like a giant jawbreaker trying to hit you in the head from like it has like an extension whip on it. And the pro thing I can say about it, it deals a lot of damage from a short distance while in chase and but the cons i could say about it is not great for close combat it's not as great for close combat and it can be difficult to aim but i could say this though i could say this if you use shorty if you use shorty right and if you use uh either shorty or rudy right if because i don't really enjoy using rudy uh, as much because he actually is one of the weakest characters and of course shorty's as well his health is very not good as well but if you use shorty or rudy and use this one and if you use the uh the lol and if you use this no no survivors are going to survive this because it actually slows down the survivor and it just easily can like it can easily like get you like so fast so i'll say if you use a metal build with the lol and uh, Gobble Stopper, it's gonna go very, very insane. So I would put it at, I think I might put it in A tier, depending, but I I might switch it around, but I'll, I'll leave it at A tier. Now the last one is the, you know, Shorty's Boxing Gloves. So this is a level 50 and I don't have to really say much about it. You know, the Boxing Gloves, it does a lot of damage. Um, and it's actually very quick and it does a lot of damage for a short amount of time so the good thing i'll say about it perfect for close combat that's for sure especially if you're using shorty of course but if you use like uh the uh the the scout or no the the tracker which is spiky uh it actually does way more but it depends what killer has the most damage the only thing bad i could say about it is better use with clowns who can move quickly so for instance, the, like I said, Rudy, uh, Spiky, and Shorty are the best ones to use it. And honestly, I'm going to be very, very honest. You might use these, right? I'll say I'll put it for now. I don't think it's as better because it, it does a lot decent damage right and it's quick but it does take a lot of hits so it's kind of i'm gonna put it over here i don't know yeah i'm gonna put it here i, I think it's a bit better than mace i think you get to uh knock down a survivor way quicker but i still think this is way better because the not only you get to wind it up right the gobble stopper not only you get to wind it up, but you get the almost the same amount of speed. And once you hit them, it slows them down. So that's why, because it has the the you know the whip uh, thing on it, where you get to charge it up. I think it's better than these two, but that's you know I'll, I'll just I'll just put it at B tier. So what do you guys think? I'm currently 115, uh, level 115, and by my experience as a killer clown using all these weapons because I like to switch things around time to time, not just the metal build. Anything C tier and below can easily counter because I, when I become a survivor, there's other killers that use different types of weapons as well. And by experience, I'll say C tier and below, it can, can be easily counter. Anything above B will be much harder to, you know, counter off. So you just gotta be careful with these weapons, especially. So, I mean, what do you guys think? You guys can tell me in the comment section if you don't like it or what you could switch around by it and I'll reply back. So if you guys want to see more Killer Counts from Outer Space videos like this, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.